I forgot to film that little funny bit where I sneeze and then the figure uh, magically has all the repro labels on it. So uh, here it is. Hey guys, Larry here, and this is another Repro Label Toy Hacks review, this time on Studio Series Roadbuster. Now, I forgot to take some before and after shots for this video, and I apologize, that was just something on my end, I forgot all about doing th that part. Uh, while I was applying them, I was like, oh, whoops, so here it is, um, I'm gonna start in robot mode this time, as opposed to the last time where I started with vehicle mode. Because Roadbuster in his robot mode does have quite a bit of stickers applied. So the reason I bought Leadfoot's sticker set is because I felt like it did enough for his robot mode and uh, mostly his vehicle mode. But Roadbuster with his repro label set, toy hack set, whatever way you prefer to call it, um, it adds quite a bit to it. It adds, um, it adds. It adds quite a bit in his robot mode. Like, it really fully decks him out. Like I said, some of these... Leadfoot and really Roadbuster didn't need toy hack sets that much. More so, Hopspin needed them. But I can't deny that this does look pretty good. Uh, gives it a more accurate look, like these 88s. Uh, the whole arm sections are so interesting. They got all these, like, breakups of stuff. The legs look really good especially here and here i it, it really they really outdid themselves with this set on just the robot mode presentation here it it looks really good even like the feet uh the feet were very difficult to put on i will say this set had a lot of tricky and difficult stickers and i i, I wasn't a huge fan of applying some of them but like overall this 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 final outcome looks really good like most toy hack sets, they do include just optional or variant stickers. So, like, if you don't want this to look like this and over here to look like this, they do include, like, some stickers that make them look more uniform. But I kind of dig the look of, like, this mismatch. I'm very OCD about, like, everything needs to look symmetrical and stuff. But, like, I think what they've done here is pretty fun. And I think it looks really good. Uh... It might bug me over time. I'll be like, oh, why is this different from that? But, like, I think this looks fine. Uh, I think this looks really, really good. Uh, even stuff up here, just, like, these things look nicer and everything. And, like I said, they really didn't have to do so much with these. Like I, like I said, Topspin was really the big one that, like, they could have just did a little bit to and not had to do a whole lot. But they did the other two first, and here we are. Not much on the back. Uh, but this is kind of more stuff for the vehicle mode. But nonetheless, he looks pretty snazzy. Here he is with Leadfoot, and they look great together with both their sets applied. I, I really dig them, and I can't wait for when Topspin gets his set, because now he looks like the odd man out. And... I feel like adding some sticker sets to Topspin may make him a much better figure, but I, I don't know if it really excuses a whole lot about what makes Topspin the way he looks. But nonetheless, it still this still looks great. I, I still I still really dig these two right here and how they look. They look very good. All right, so now, like I said, I really wanted to show off the robot mode first because. As much as it looks more impressive and much nicer, it isn't the sole reason I bought the set. I really wanted to see how well it looked in vehicle mode, which is what I was hoping all three of them would look better in, because their robot modes are fine enough. But enough dilly-dallying. Here is car mode. And let me tell you, um, this looks really good. Uh, there was a lot of um, things I was worried about. I was like, "How? what are they going to do exactly with this? Because I remember the old old uh, Human Alliance toy, and they had a bunch of stickers up here. But they didn't really do too much, so there's no mention of like the Ant Energy sponsorship that the real-life Dale Jr. car had. Uh, so much going on here. They have these new side things that I really didn't think needed to be replaced, but 
overall it looks nice as well. There's the Mountain Dew, the National Guard, National Guard, National Guard. Uh, there's quite a bit of that everywhere. Uh, National Guard. <laughs> there's quite a bit of that. Um, and then there's also some small little pieces here and there. Uh, ooh, that one's sliding off. And it appears that since this review, <laughs> I've lost that little black one there. Well, now, uh, so that's an interesting thing, but I mean, granted that that's always kind of happened. If you played with this stuff enough, I don't see a sticker laying around. So I guess it's, it's lost. Oh, well, just a small little minor thing. But speaking of minor little, little specs like that, these stickers up in here were the absolute worst to get on that, especially this very small little black one right there. Uh, I don't know if these wheels are easy to take off and that's how they put them on there, but it genuinely was a pain to try to get that stuff up in there. But that really was the only like huge problem sticker set that I had the entire time. Everything else looks pretty good, all things told. Uh, they really didn't do anything new up here, which that's fine. I think that looks good enough there. But overall, I think this was a really well done set. Uh, for the Roadbuster set. I will say what was funny was they asked you to put these Impala stickers up here in the front, but the original set, the, the, the base figure, already had Impala written on there. I guess they wanted to give it a more accurate look, but I just thought that was a little bit funny. And speaking of funny, if you remember my review of Leadfoot, I thought it was kind of funny that like there was no Juan Pablo Montoya uh, name up here and I understood why they didn't do it and I felt like the other ones weren't going to do that well I was proven wrong this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s name right on the top of this thing and I will say this is kind of one of the other problems I have with the set is that the greens of these stickers don't really match the figure up here it really doesn't matter because there's no green like this touching all that so you could sit there and be like yeah that looks about right but when you have these greens matching and putting it on this other green doesn't look perfect, but like, honestly, uh, I really don't mind it at all that much. I'm not going to say I don't care, but it definitely doesn't bother me. Uh, here is Lead Foot, and here is Topspin together. They look really good for the most part, because obviously this guy is the last one to get some sticker sets. And hopefully sooner or later, we'll get a set for this. I want to say whenever I reviewed the Leadfoot set, it took a few weeks for them to do a Roadbuster set. And then uh, I actually uh, applied my sticker set for this after like two weeks after getting them. Because I, went, I got them on a vacation. Ironically, I was going to a NASCAR race that weekend. And I didn't bring the sticker set with me to do because I felt like I was going to get lose the stuff. And it took me a couple of weeks after I got back to put them on during a live stream. And... Uh, Hopefully sooner or later, like I said, this guy will be getting a sticker set soon. But overall, for just two-thirds of them, it's looking really good. And I I am loving this set so far. I, I missed out on trying to get the original sets. I mean, I think Toy Hack still has those sets up on their website. But it feels good to have this set of the new uh, trio. And... Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a fun set, a, a girl collection of uh, sets to get. And like I said before, if you're going to get one, you might as well get the other two. And I've said it before, I felt like these two were the least ones that needed a set. I felt like he was the number one to get it. But these two ended up getting it first. I feel like they were more popular and people who gives a shit about top spin. But... I feel like sooner or later we will be getting this set and I am, uh, I'll be waiting and I'll be ready for to do another review on that. So this has been the review of the Toy Hacks Roadbuster set. I recommend getting it only if you're trying to get all three of them or if you're a really big Roadbuster fan. I, I still feel like it's great set even if you just got it by itself. I feel like this set is a very fun set for the most part. There are some very tricky sticker applications but if that doesn't really bug you that much, then sure, get it. Um, if it's you're just going to get Roadbuster and not the rest of the two, I would recommend it, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, this is a well-done set, and I feel like it uh, feels great, especially now that it's basically the setup for the final one. 
Anyway, thank you for watching this review and have a good one. Thank you.